Did you know today is the 60th anniversary of NASA? What? Happy birthday, NASA! Good job! NASA became operational on October 1st, 1958, one year after the Soviets launched the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1. Huh. NASA doesn't allow cookies or bread on the ISS. They don't want crumbs. The first flag on the moon actually fell over 10 seconds after being planted due to exhaust from the Eagle lunar module. NASA actually had a very long discussion about what Neil Armstrong's first words would be. You know, NASA has only one-tenth the budget it had when the Kennedy administration was going on. <laughs> the planetary defense arm of NASA is trying to figure out protection from asteroids. It's illegal for NASA to collaborate with China. For every dollar NASA receives, it returns seven to $21 back to the American public with its technology transfer program, which brought us memory foam, MRI tech, and cell phone cameras. We have selfies now, thanks. NASA's 2019 budget is 19.9 billion. Ooh. Astronauts go, number two, into a hole on top of a silver can in the $19,000 Russian-made toilet on the ISS. A fan is then used to vacuum suck the poop away. Mm. <laughs> NASA calls their round logo the meatball design. In 1960, NASA built four hand-painted models of the moon so pilots could practice landing maneuvers. In 2006, NASA accidentally recorded over footage of the 1969 moon landing. NASA thinks we'll have definitive evidence of aliens within 20 to 30 years. In 2003, NASA confirmed a doctor's theory that a meteor crashed into the moon in 1953. NASA selects special music for astronauts to wake up to every morning on mission. It's careless whisper. God, I hope so. Da -da -da, da -da -da. One time, a darn gator broke into the <laughs> NASA lobby. NASA has a chief sniffer. During Apollo 11, the astronauts ate two meals. Meal A was bacon squares, peaches, sugar cookie cubes, coffee, and pineapple grapefruit drink. Meal B included beef stew, cream of chicken soup, date fruit cake, grape punch, and orange drink. Delicious. Bill Nye applied to be a NASA astronaut four times. He also got rejected four times. <laughs> NASA will pay you to lay in bed to study the effects of weightlessness. Hire me. NASA Chief Scientist Jim Green has seen Alien 50 times. Good for you, Jim. NASA was sued by three Yemeni men for trespassing. The men claimed they'd inherited Mars from their ancestors. Okay. NASA designed a swimsuit that later got banned for being too high tech. 17 months after the suit came out, swimmers broke 130 world records while wearing it. NASA's Apollo mission would have cost $200 billion today. Ooh, but NASA's budget is only 0.4% of the total federal budget. NASA created technology that's used to make a skin cream that increases moisture by 76%. Mm, moisture. Aerospace tech shared between NASA and Carmen Music Corp led to an enhanced acoustic guitar. Some plants NASA has grown in space, bok choy, rice, tulips, radishes, potatoes, and sunflowers. Artists hand-painted a lunar landing simulator at NASA to scale just so pilots could practice maneuvers on a fake moon. In 2017, NASA astronauts didn't get Thanksgiving Thursday off, but they got Friday off. It's customary for NASA astronauts to watch NFL on the ISS on Thanksgiving. In 1965, two NASA astronauts radioed mission control just to play them jingle bells using sleigh bells and a harmonica. That's cute. The first 3D printer in space was launched in 2014, and the first tool printed was a ratchet wrench. NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson holds the record among American astronauts for spending the most time in space. She spent 665 days there. Max Q is an all-astronaut rock and roll band. They're named for an engineering term for maximum dynamic pressure experienced by an ascending spacecraft. NASA named the facility after Katherine Johnson, the African-American mathematician whose work John Glenn specifically requested in critical calculations to get him to space. Jerry Lininger of NASA's Space Shuttle Atlantis celebrated his birthday with an inflatable cake. Again, no crumbs up there. The cake, an inflatable cake? It's a balloon. You know, they call it a cake. It's a it's cake. It's a balloon. It's a cake. 
It's a cake. Astronaut's most requested meal is a shrimp cocktail. Astronaut's Story Musgrave apparently ate it for almost every meal. Buzz Aldrin took the first space selfie in 1966. The print sold for approximately $9,200 in 2015. That's how much my selfies are worth. <laughs> yeah. Anna Lee Fisher was the first mother to go to space and was assigned to her first flight only two weeks before she gave birth. In 2006, Sunita Williams added miles to her trip by becoming the first astronaut to run the Boston Marathon while in space. Whoa. That's her word. Yeah, it's more a space marathon than Boston, but maybe if you're over Boston, oh. it counts. But that's how space laws work. NASA helped the British Library identify their oldest object, a Chinese oracle bone dated to December 27, 1192 BCE. Thanks to NASA's Space Shuttle's discovery, Buzz Lightyear made it to the ISS in 2008. Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story? Yeah, the fake astronaut. Mm -hmm. When in space, Scott Kelly revealed that calluses fall off the bottom of his feet, but develop at the top of his feet, since he used the tops to make use of foot rails. Kitty O'Brien Joyner was NASA's first woman engineer and had to start a lawsuit to gain admission to the University of Virginia's engineering school. After the return of Apollo 9 in 1969, the crew was welcomed with a three-tier, 350-pound cake, complete with a command module cake topper. This time is a real cake and not a balloon cake. Who can say? Putting a spacesuit on is called donning the suit. Removing the suit is called doffing. In 1971, Alan Shepard smuggled a makeshift golf club aboard Apollo 14 by disguising it as a piece of sampling equipment and covering it with a sock. He became the first person to play golf anywhere other than Earth. Astronauts just burn their dirty laundry on re-entry instead of washing it in space. During Apollo, it took NASA astronauts one hour to put on their spacesuit. Sorry, don their spacesuit. Sure. Now it takes 30 minutes. NASA astronauts on the ISS work out six out of the seven days a week for 2.5 hours each day. No wonder they can run a space marathon. So true. NASA prohibits married couples from flying together, but it happened once in 1992 after astronauts Mark Lee and Jan Davis secretly married and didn't tell NASA. I love that space drama. Snoopy from the Peanuts is NASA's official safety mascot. In 2010, astronaut Alan Poindexter said astronauts don't have sex in space. Personal relationships are not an issue. We don't have them, and we don't. Bummer. NASA astronauts on the ISS aren't allowed to drink alcohol. Another bummer. But on New Year's, Russian astronauts on the ISS gave NASA astronauts grape juice with labels on it to make it look like champagne. Almost there. A 2007 NASA review showed that there had been at least two astronauts in the agency's history that had consumed heavy amounts of alcohol in the immediate pre-flight period, but they were still permitted to fly. A NASA love triangle ended in the arrest of one astronaut for attacking her love rival, the girlfriend of a fellow astronaut, in 2007. Oh my god. Hot goss. Space goss. Space goss. Apollo 10 astronauts said they heard outer space type music in 1969 while orbiting the moon, even though there was no music playing. <laughs> and those are 60 NASA facts. Now you know. Happy birthday.